I, I get it. I go to my garden every day. I, it I, actually rain or shine. I, I come out here if just to check on things and to reassure myself that I'm just alive. But I've said over and over again that cottage gardens are cottage gardeners were traditionally people that, who didn't have a lot of money. And in fact, they were very poor peasants at, at the, in the very beginning. So they grew as many things as they could vertically. Primroses, calendulas. There were some plants that well, did not grow vertically that they grew as herbs to begin with. But now those, but, but this squash is a plant that will grow vertically. The problem is I didn't realize that I had a squash plant, a squash, a, a, a crook neck yellow squash fruit or vegetable already produced down at the base of that mass of growth. A cottage garden is kind of like an Easter egg hunt because things grow so close together that sometimes you can't, you lose track of where things are. And that this squash plant is one thing, is like that. Um, I, 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 I always after I finish a video, sometime, maybe tomorrow, maybe tonight, I will um, see the beautiful blooms. And so many of these vegetables I grow just in fact, I started growing pumpkins simply to watch them grow. And, and squash and pumpkins are all in the same family. But um, I, it, later tonight, I'll make a video about the different kinds of squash, how, squ how crook neck squash, a lot of, and, and pumpkins, often some pumpkins are called squash, winter squash. I'll make a video about that later.